This is our third video covering additional topics on using the CDC Excel tool for thematic analysis. In this video, we are going to show you how to input a new coding scheme into the tool. In the previous video, we reviewed the basic idea behind developing your own coding scheme and created this preliminary coding scheme. If you need help developing your own coding scheme, please go back and watch that first video. We have set this scheme up with four broad codes and a number of specific codes below each. So the first thing that we'll need to do is copy this information into the Excel tool itself. From the start page, we'll go to worksheet number three, select coding scheme, and choose the blank coding scheme. We're then taken to this page where we will input our broad codes and specific codes. So first up, under the basic coding major topic area, we want to list our four broad codes. And so we'll go back to the coding scheme that we've developed, copy these headings, and put them into the tool. It's important to note that these codes must not contain spaces and cannot start with numbers. You can use underscores in the place of spaces. Next, we'll take these broad codes and copy them across as headers for each of the columns. We have set up this coding scheme with five placeholder broad codes, but if you have more in your coding scheme, you'll need to insert new columns after the fifth placeholder. And now we're going to copy in each of the lists of the specific codes under their corresponding broad codes. So we'll go back to our preliminary codes file, copy the codes that are under the questions broad code, and paste them in here under the questions. We may also want to remove the extra placeholders if necessary. So I'll do this one more time for the information needs. Go back to our preliminary coding scheme, copy these, and put them in this column. And then remove any extra placeholders that you don't need. At this point, our coding is set up and we only need to take a few more steps so that the codes that we have appear here will be available to us on the coding workspace sheet as we code the data. So we'll start with the broad codes. Because we've set up these placeholders already, when we copy the information over them, we should be able to go directly to the coding workspace and find our newly added broad codes. So you can see in the drop down menu that our broad codes are already available to us. You may encounter a situation in which all of your broad codes do not automatically appear here. This is especially likely if you have more than five broad codes. If you run into this issue, in order to fix it, you'll have to use the data validation on this sheet. To do that, we'll select this entire broad code column. And then we'll go up to data, data validation. We'll ensure that list is selected in this dropdown. And then in the box that says source, we are going to tell Excel where to find our list of broad codes. In this case, it's already set up for you, but I'll show you how to do it if I was going to redo it. I would select this, delete anything that's already in the source, and then select my four broad codes. Click OK, and then you'd be brought back here and you can check that this worked for all of the cells. Redoing this data validation step is a common troubleshooting approach for most issues that you may run into with codes either not appearing or just acting strangely on this sheet. So now we have our broad code set up, but if we go in and try and select a specific code, we'll see that nothing shows up in our dropdown list. So in order to set up the specific codes, we have to link the list of specific codes with their broad codes. So to do this, we'll return to the coding scheme sheet, and then we'll select formulas from the ribbon, and then name manager. What this name manager does is allow us to assign specific names to groups of cells in Excel. You can see that since we have other coding schemes already set up in this file, that there are already some names listed here for the epidemic and other health emergencies coding schemes. So to create new ones for our coding scheme, we'll select new, and then in this box that's entitled name, we will type our first broad code, 
which is questions, and ensure that this matches exactly what you have listed for the broad code with no extra spaces included. And then in the refers to box, we'll tell the name ma manager where to find the specific codes for the questions broad codes. You may want to select a few extra empty cells at the bottom so that you can add additional codes in the future without having to redo this process. And then we select OK. So I'll show you how to do this one more time with the next broad code, information needs. So we type in information needs. And select the specific codes. And then click OK. So I'll go through and do set this up for the other two broad codes as well. So once you've set up all of your broad codes in the name manager, you can click close. And we'll wanna go back to the coding workspace and check that our specific codes are available. You can see that as we change these, what's available in the specific codes also changes. And so now we will be ready to code our data. If we wanted to add a new specific code to any of these existing broad codes, we could just go in and write it in the cell. And because we included this cell in our name manager, when we go back to the questions, we can see the question about something else now exists. One final step that might be necessary to troubleshoot the specific codes. Like the broad codes, it relies on data validation, but instead of referencing a specific part of the file, it uses a formula. So if something strange happens with your specific codes or they're not appearing, what you'll do is select the entire column again, go back into data, data validation, and we can see that this still has a list, which is what it should have but then the source is actually a formula. And so this indirect uh, H5 is telling Excel to look at what has been chosen for the broad code and using the name we created in the name manager give options for the specific codes. So if your specific codes don't seem to be appearing properly, you may want to select the, again the entire specific codes column, erase this formula, and then rewrite it. and make sure it references this file and that the dollar sign only appear, appears in front of uh, the H and not in front of the five. Click OK. And now this should help to troubleshoot most issues that you'll have with these specific codes. So thank you for watching our videos on creating and setting up your own coding scheme using the Excel tool for thematic analysis.